Hey, what's up YouTube? So today on this video, I'm gonna do a slurry test. So uh, according to the thing that I read, you basically do two ounces of soil from the side of the pot about two inches down. And I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this cup out. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna grab some soil here. So it looks like two ounces is gonna be about 56.699 grams. So I have more to do. And two ounces of neutrally pH'd water. Okay, so now we've got our two ounces of soil and we've got our two ounces of water and I just did a quick test on this to uh, to weigh the water and uh, two ounces of water is two ounces very interesting so I'm gonna mix these two up but I actually have to pH the water down I just wanted to do this quick test so I'm gonna have to pH some water to get it to be neutral and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in the cup and uh, we'll run the meter Okay, so I've got my soil, got my water, got my two meters, got my cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this water for pH. And I went ahead and already cleaned this off in some distilled water. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this right here. Okay, so looks like we got about So I'm going to let that soak. I'm not quite sure if that's the way to do it, but it seems to me like there should be some more liquid in there, but I put in the two ounces. We're going to let that sit for a minute and then we'll put the meters in. Okay, so we let the, we let the slurry mix sit for about, I don't know, three or four minutes. We'll go ahead and try this meter now. I hope this is what we do, so we're going to see. Assuming, just dump it down in there like that, yeah. Like that. So, I've gotten it down a little bit further, and the meter seems to keep going up. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this correctly. So, anybody out there in YouTube land, please comment so that I can do this correctly because I want to do a video after I figured it out properly and I want to do one to show everybody else how to do a slurry test. So your, your comments are much appreciated. But for now I'm going to try this, uh, this meter here and see what happens. Okay, so I went ahead and buried this thing in here for a second. Keep moving it, and the meter's all over the place. So, it was at 400. 
I went to 500. I went to 600. Then I went to 700. Now it's at 800. And 59, 50, uh, 860. So I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I kind of feel like there needs to be more liquid. But I don't know. But if that's my parts per million, then for my feeding chart, I know I'm way over. So I don't know how to deal with that. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and I added about another ounce of that same uh, neutral pH water. I'm just thinking that I need some more liquid, so I'm going to try this one more time. And we've got our pH meter. Turn that on. Go ahead and clean these out. I'm also going to do the PPM meter. So that's at zero. And I'll stick this in there. Okay, so these things have been sitting in here for about four minutes. I was having a little bit of trouble reading this other meter, so I got a flashlight here. So it looks like. 6566 six, six should be okay. Um, looks like the parts per million is a little high. I think it's supposed to be between 300 and 500. So I don't know. I mean, like I said, I added another ounce of water in there because it didn't seem like there was enough. So I'm not quite sure if that's good or bad, but it was that neutral pH water. And these are what my readings are. So hopefully, this is a good slurry test. Whatever you guys have to say about it, I appreciate your comments. Uh, I'm Enzo Trepa with BudCivil.com. Thanks for watching.